I really love this. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry and I'm a YouTuber and a hairstylist based in Accra, Ghana. And I create beauty, hair and lifestyle videos. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below and also turn on your post notifications so you never ever miss an upload from me. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a gold mine that I've just stumbled upon and it is the CeraVe Healing Ointment and how it has helped my skin. If you haven't heard, there's a new skincare trend called slugging and I first came across this term on Instagram. I'm definitely going to be leaving links to all the posts down in my description box. So the million dollar question here is what the hell is slugging? When I saw this, I was stunned. I mean, people were literally slathering thick layers of Vaseline onto their skin after they've done their skincare routine and we all know how expensive skincare can be so why would you want to mess everything up with applying such a thick layer of Vaseline on your face? Apparently, there are already a lot of publications about people trying out the application of Vaseline on their face. So it's really not new, but it's just now been resurfaced and made popular by social media. I also recently found out that Dr. Dre here on YouTube swears by Vaseline. She highly recommends it as an amazing occlusive and it is actually the only 100% occlusive out there. She's been advocating the use of Vaseline as a final step in your evening skincare routine. Emphasis on the evening skincare routine because I don't think you want to go out looking like a glazed donut during the day. It would be terribly uncomfortable. First of all, let's clear something up. I really do love Vaseline. This year alone, I've almost used up two big tubs of Vaseline and this one is almost done as you can see. So I'm still on this tub. I don't want this shit. I mostly just use it as a lip scrub, lip moisturizer, just like coconut oil, shea butter, almond oil. Vaseline also helps to melt off your makeup, especially during the drier months. We're really getting close to those months right now, but during the drier months in Ghana, we call that Hamatan. Everybody has a tub of this stashed. You can actually use a thinner layer of the CeraVe healing ointment as compared to using your Vaseline because believe me, I've tried both of them and the CeraVe healing ointment is much, much more forgiving. You don't need to use as much when you're using the CeraVe healing ointment. You just need a thin layer and a, a little, a little goes a long way. It's been about four weeks since I started using the CeraVe healing ointment constantly, consistently, unfailingly because I I started experimenting with some retinols and they've left my skin very very dry drier than normal but if you're currently on retinols you know how bad it can get before it starts to get good but for me it was getting really bad to the point where my skin was extra dry flaky and sometimes felt even irritated even with the retinol 0.5 percent in squalene and the squalene is supposed to act as a natural buffer but i was still experiencing really harsh side effects and I'm sure it was because my skin is naturally dry and it didn't look good so I opted to try the CeraVe healing ointment because I had heard that it works amazing with fixing skin barrier damage and I was starting to feel like my skin barrier wasn't doing very well so so if you've over exfoliated your skin and maybe messed up your skin barrier or you're currently on prescription retinols or retinoid please do consider giving the CeraVe healing ointment a try you Using the CeraVe healing ointment as a final step in my skincare routine, I mean as an occlusive, really helped to soothe the side effects from the retinols and instead of experiencing all the dryness, the flakiness and the irritation, everything just subsided and even if you wake up the next day, your skin still feels very very soft, very moisturized. Even though you do tend to lose some of the product when you sleep, you still wake up with extra soft moisturized skin. My skin really loves this stuff. <laughs> 
So what I like to do at night after doing my normal skincare routine, that is cleanse, tone, use a serum, and then maybe my retinol, cause I tend to use my retinols at night. So then my retinol, and I go in with my lightweight moisturizer before I then apply a, a thin layer of my CeraVe healing ointment. And it's safe to apply it in and around your eyes. Please don't skip moisturizer simply because you're using the CeraVe healing ointment or your Vaseline as an occlusive. Moisturizer is still very important in your skincare routine. There are so many different kinds of moisturizers on the market and for a good one, it should either contain a humectant, an emollient or an occlusive. After doing this, I like to sit for a while, maybe get some work done before I turn in and go into bed. This just allows my skincare to sink into my skin before I just turn in and go to bed. If you're a rough sleeper like me, you will have some transfer onto your pillow. It's not really a problem for me, first of all, because I sleep alone. And secondly, I do my best to wash my pillowcases every single week. It's not hard, just toss it into the washer and then you're good to go. So that isn't really a problem for me at all. You can also apply a generous amount of the CeraVe healing ointment onto your lips. It serves as an amazing lip moisturizer. Comment down below if you've ever tried using the CeraVe healing ointment as a lip moisturizer. Comment down below, let me know. It feels very nice. You don't wake up with chappy, dry, cracked lips. Actually, your skin doesn't have to be dry. You don't have to be experiencing any irritation. Prevention is better than cure. If you can get on this, right now before you start to experience those things I would highly recommend it keeps all the moisture and hydration locked into your skin especially if you're using a humectant like hyaluronic acid the CeraVe healing ointment itself contains an amount of hyaluronic acid which is also a humectant and it keeps your skin hydrated the only time I would not recommend you using the CeraVe healing ointment is if you have acne prone skin or fungal acne because none of the articles that I read said anything in relation to these people using this product so so to be on the safe side I just think it's best we put this one on hold but if you do have acne prone skin and you've tried any of these products please let me know in the comment section down below let's share let's teach each other in the comment section down below I'd really love to know if you did try it and it helped you a common misconception that even I had before getting into using petroleum jelly as an occlusive in my skincare routine was the fact that petroleum jelly is derived from crude oil I had also heard that petroleum jelly was carcinogenic which also means cancer causing so again I did some research and found out that before petroleum jelly is released as a skincare ingredient it's gone through multiple stages of refinement petroleum jelly is highly highly regulated by the FDA and if you look behind your CeraVe healing ointment you can see that it's under the drug factor labeled as skin protectant meaning this product is treated as a drug if you experience any cuts and burns personally i reach out for my vaseline or petroleum jelly slather that onto that baby and then i'm good to go by tomorrow everything is going to be soothed and it's going to feel a lot better so why not give it a try hit me up let me know what you think have you ever tried petroleum jelly or the CeraVe healing ointment as a final step in your skincare routine and is this something that you'll be willing to try out let me know in the comment section down below i really enjoyed filming this video for you guys go ahead and chat with me in the comment section down below i'd love 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 to hear from you guys i'll catch you in my next video next week bye